Usually when working in a Libre sheet metal, you would go to the home screen and create a sheet metal part. But sometimes the workflow is easier if you make a solid model and later convert that to sheet metal. Perhaps a solid model like this. Making an enclosed box and sheet metal like this would take a little bit of time, but modeling it like this as a solid is quite easy, and converting it can save a lot of effort. If I wish to convert to sheet metal, one of the easiest ways to do so is to go to the Send To up here and select Convert to Sheet Metal. As I do, you can see that we are brought into the sheet metal environment and we have a translucent version of our part. I'll select my tab first. This is the part that is the base tab that we'll be bending from. And then I can select which bends that I would like to include. Just like that. You'll also notice some thick purple lines that happen and that is a rip that is being inserted or a place where the sheet metal is separated into different flanges. We can adjust a given width using this menu. I can change my default width from a Libre's default or I can uh, adjust individual gap width something like 0.125 if I'd like to go a lot larger. Here you can see that my gap over here is labeled as 0.125 and there's a much larger gap in that preview. I can continue selecting bends. You'll notice I haven't selected any bends for this gray face here. When I say OK, you can see that that gray face is omitted from my sheet metal part and I'm able to flat pattern this as needed. If I did intend to include this gray face here, then I can always go back to my conversion, right click and edit. I'm brought back into the environment that I was before and under bends, I can go ahead and select a face to include. And now when it's converted, I'm more enclosed. This may be challenging to make in real life, but makes for a reasonable demonstration. I again, can flat pattern it and see that uh, new included face that I now have. I also can uh, change what bends that I would like to bend from or what edges I'd like to bend from. So if I go to edit my conversion and I find that very last uh, bend that I've inserted here, I can go ahead and remove that bend. Oh, there it is. And I can choose to bend from somewhere else, right? If I choose this corner, then I insert the bend here. And when I say OK, I can uh, go back to my flat pattern and see that now my bend has this large uh, piece sticking out of it. So if I'm going to cut this out of a single sheet of metal, I have to use a much larger piece of metal than if I had put the flat pattern or if I'd put the bend over here. These are the kinds that we can figure out when using our flat pattern and conversion. I likewise can also change, change my bend radius for some or all bends simply by changing my global bend radius. From the same menu, I can change individual bends as well. Perhaps I'd like to make this particular bend larger. And now you can see I've made a much more thick bend and the reliefs have adjusted accordingly. So this is great when converting from a uh, solid piece of model into sheet metal. But what if I have some sheet metal that is already uh, thickened in a way that it represents a piece of sheet metal? Perhaps like this, I have made a model that has a constant thickness and looks just like how sheet metal would. In this case, the process is a bit different because there are no edges for me to select. They're all smooth. I'll go with Send to as before and convert to sheet metal. But now, instead of selecting uh, edges to create bends, I'm going to choose replicate sheet metal part. 
and this is able to pick up existing bins. Of course, for this to work, I have to select my tab first. I'll select this, and now when I choose Replicate Sheet Metal Part, in orange, it recognizes all of the bends that it will turn into sheet metal. And I'll say OK to that. Now, as you can see, I can flatten it out just as though it were modeled from sheet metal originally. But there are some more things that we would like to do. Perhaps I'd like to make an edit to my original part. I can choose Edit on my Convert to Sheet Metal Part. And I can bring up the original part as it was modeled and change the dimensions as necessary. I also can experiment with adding some features. For instance, I can select this face and activate my sketch. Let's say that I run an extruded cut all the way through here. Well, this is not really a valid sheet metal part because when you bend sheet metal, the walls of the holes really should be normal to every face that they're on, but this is not an appropriate angle for sheet metal. Can it still be uh, converted to sheet metal? Well, let's close this and find out. So we can see that uh, our program made a few adjustments for us automatically. It made this wall perpendicular the way that sheet metal should be, which is a great enhancement. It also, as you can tell, is not perfectly circular anymore due to making that adjustment. It also created a gap in this bend as necessary to uh, be able to accomplish this bend. So in some ways, Convert to Sheet Metal allows you to add features in a way that you couldn't normally uh, add to sheet metal, at least not without using these unbend features first. We also have the ability to uh, work with sketches to trim our part. Let's go through that. Here, I'll again go to Send To, Convert to Sheet Metal, and on our menu here, I have these rips that I have available to me. So I'll first select my tab, I'll replicate my sheet metal part to select all of my bends, and then for rips, I can use custom sketches as needed. So when I say Use Sketch, it asks me to select a planar face. I'll choose this one and I can select a line and sketch a line for a rip just like that. Now when I say OK, our part is trimmed according to the sketch that I have made. So that's one more handy tool that we can use to enhance our sheet metal parts. That's a quick run through of the different options and ways that we can take a solid model and convert it to sheet metal. Hope this video was helpful. Please subscribe to the Libre channel and I'll see you in the next one.